Don't jump off. Don't jump off. You're so big. Oh my gosh. Good early morning and welcome back to the channel y'all. We're heading to our next destination to go bass fishing. And I thought I just have to stop at my old alma mater. I gotta drive by, see what the school's doing, see what it looks like at 5.30 in the morning. And I'm hoping that the old Rudy's that was here is still open and I can swing in and get myself some breakfast tacos and a little coffee real quick. 10 minutes out of my way, but a breakfast taco in the AM can sometimes just set you right. She's still here, baby. A lot of my fishing mornings started right here. Got to the door. They not open. They don't open till 7 AM now. I felt like I used to come here so early, man. What's wrong with college kids these days? Sleeping in? Gosh, we used to have to get up early and go catch our fish before we went to class. That's a bummer, man. It's a real bummer. Folks, we are uh, extremely low on diesel again. I had to take a detour. I've been on country roads forever. I just hope I make it to the promised land of possibly a Bucky's here in a few miles. So far, it's just been a journey driving this morning. I was hoping to already be at the lake, but there was a detour. It took me like 20 miles out of the way. I almost, almost ran out of diesel. Life on the road, giving it a dangle. What are you gonna do, man? All right, enough commercials on the daggum gas machines. You gotta put commercials on my gas machines? Come on, man. Well, we finally made it here, y'all. Just got into the park. I used my Texas State Park Pass. It's, uh, it's like 50 bucks, so for this particular lake, got in free. A little road closure I ran into, I wasn't filming, but it was still dark. And I almost went down this dirt road, like had to stomp on the brakes, there was a car coming right at me. It was, it was bad news bears. <laughs> we were almost derailed before we even made our first cast. Oh, I'm starving. Uh, I was hoping to go buy a Bucky's. That didn't happen. Didn't get my breakfast tacos. I haven't had coffee in four days. At least I got some uh, some freeze-dried food so I can make myself a little little breakfast while I'm out on, on the water. A gorgeous day today, y'all. Sunny. There's not much wind. I mean, it's beautiful. What I'm looking at here in the lake is just beautiful green grass. Exactly what I wanted to see. It's awesome. Don't know if we're gonna catch him, but I'm certainly gonna feel better about it. So water is 50 degrees, it's looking like. Oh, this is 48 right here, it's cold. So if you look down here at the graph, you'll see some grass on the bottom there. And there's a, it stops eventually. If I go to my right, it'll, it'll go out to about eight to 10 foot and then it'll stop. Well fish are going to sit kind of on that edge and they may move up there a little shallower just depending on how warm it gets and eventually they're going to find a hard bottom in here somewhere and they're going to want to spawn they're going to follow some bait a little bit and just hang in this grass this is why i like fishing grass lakes so much in the winter it's because it gives you an opportunity to fish shallow relatively shallow even when it's cold whereas 
know, highland reservoirs and other lakes that have no grass, but they will just go into the deeps. It's just a lot easier to fish in less than 10 feet of water, in my opinion, unless the fish are just stacked on one spot out deep. This is the way and the truth. It's bait number two. Nicholas crank's probably gonna be the deal, but. But we got to get fish number one, y'all. I'm starving, like for real. Been up since 5:30 and it's like nine o'clock. Got some filamentous algae growing in here. Kind of early for that, I would think. Come on, baby. Be my breakfast nugget off the stump. Oh, God. That's the tree. <laughs> Hunger got the best of me right there, y'all. Couple mistakes. First rod I picked up uh, had 12 pound tests on it, so I'm going to switch that rod. Shouldn't have done that with 12 pound tests, uh, ripping traps out of grass. At least 15 go with at least 15 and then when you see a fish that's got a bait in its mouth like that that deep and it's shaking its head and it's chewing you feel that, that those teeth are just scraping on that line like sandpaper don't try to boat flip that fish i was like eh, i don't want to stick my hand in that fish's mouth i was like and he was thick too he was, he was fatter than i thought he was so anyway that was my first bite uh, i did not land the fish so uh i guess we could say i don't get to eat i'm gonna switch up my color here to the cash craw which is my favorite color throwing this on this is an early edition 7-2 reaction rod or catchco affiliates there's one. Oh my gosh it came off i felt him tap it Oh my gosh, y'all, they're wanting, they're wanting it. The retrieve is a pump, but essentially it's whenever you feel the grass rip. And I'm, I'm in like six foot, there's grass wads everywhere. Come here, baby. Don't even be big. I just need you. I just need you to get in here. Oh my God, it's a giant. Oh my gosh. It's a giant. It's a toad. Oh my gosh. Oh. No. Why are you so big? Oh. I want you though. Don't jump off. Don't jump off. You're so big. Oh my gosh. We got to get you now. Another one's got it choked. This is, this is one of the biggest fish I've ever hooked out here. We're definitely not boat flipping this thing. Man, that's, that's a five for sure. I haven't caught many over five. Oh my God. It's gone. Oh, come here, you big black spotted, beautiful largemouth. Oh, yeah, baby, that's a toad. Yeah, -hoo -hoo. man. Why bam! I've been looking for you all week, dude. Sally, head first down the hatch. Oh, the lipless man. It's time. They've bypassed the jerk bait bite. They're on the lipless. Okay, y'all. I gotta. I gotta get some pics with this guy. I'm gonna enjoy. Enjoy the presence for a minute, and it is breakfast time, baby. Whew. Go ahead and let this fish go. We got a couple of picks. What a beautiful specimen. 
Okay, on the menu. I gotta eat now. Feel better. Feel rejuvenated. What a first fish of the day to land. The other one was pretty good too. We have, a, we're going with a peak here. Oh, that smells like um, Captain Crunch. Strawberries, blueberries, granola, raspberries, milk type things. Carefully add one cup of cold water. Zip. You don't have to heat this. Wow. I'll tell you what, these strawberries, the fruit in here looks pretty fresh. Looks nice. Looks real. You know what I mean? You know, what's weird is like, I don't see any boats where I am. I saw a lot of uh, trailers in the parking lot. I don't see any boats over here. I'm like, am I just in the completely wrong part of the lake and then I catch a five pounder? I'm like, no, I'm not. I'm not in the wrong part of the lake necessarily, but could be better somewhere. Last lake of the trip, guys. I'm glad we made a decision to come here. Finally got a fish over five in the new year. How much shaking are we talking here? Next up, the old milkies. Okay, that's probably enough shaking. I'm going stir crazy. Hunger. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's pretty fruity, but I can get down with it. Other lake that I was hoping to really get a big one at. The fish had not moved up yet. In the past years that I fished it, like when the fish move up, it's just a wave of them all over the lake. And you can just catch big ones up in a couple of feet of water. But everything I saw was deep, deep. Um, and there, there was, wasn't any good shallow cover for them to move up into. So just wasn't playing out good. Made the executive decision to come to a grass lake and I'm glad I did. I'm sure y'all are tired of watching me eat now. I'm gonna, um, Enjoy this moment though, and it's gonna be time to work. You gotta fuel the muscles for a lot of ripping. All right, see, we got a mix of brown and green stuff right here. The green that's producing oxygen, we want that. Fish love it. There's all sorts of little organisms that live in it, bait fish to eat on. The way I like to fish these. No matter if I'm open water or if I'm doing this right here, I'm kind of anticipating that I'm going to hit the grass and I'm going to have to rip it anyways. I'm just keeping a, a pump action. Uh, there's definitely moments during the cast where I feel the grass and I rip it because of that. But this is my retrieve 90% of the time when I'm fishing a lipless crankbait. Uh, it can be in open water over rocks if I'm you know on some schooling fish or around uh, whatever open water I'll keep this technique because most of the time they'll hit it when you make a little stop and our bait will actually uh, it actually falls pretty good and something you have to do just about every cast is clear your bait and once you kind of know the distance where you can slap the water and get it off. You don't want to like dig your rod in the water and do it, but just hit the bait real quick, knock the grass off and cast it again. It'll save you a lot of time. This is what grass will look like on your graph. It'll just look like a bunch of little stringies coming up. That's what you want to look for. Well, not a five pounder. Not even a pounder. But gotta heat it. Eat it like it was a bowl of Wheaties. Eat it like I ate that granola bag. See, you, buddy. Uh, morning bites. Uh, I think I think it's subsided here, y'all. Um, so I've got three fish, one being a whopper. So I'm gonna run around to a few different spots see if I can find some good-looking grass uh, similar. To the stuff I was seeing or just some um, some good hard bottom yeah super bullet ride to the big old bass hole I've tried two different areas, multiple techniques. Um, I think the fish are just, they're done. 
we're done biting for the day. It's like a front was just coming in, and these fish just said, nope, I'm going to try one more spot, fish for 30 minutes, if I don't get a bite, and head home. I came, I saw a five-pounder selfie. That's not a bad day. One final tactic I've yet to deploy. I can't get bit on this, I'm done. Got a 16th ounce little tungsten weight. Putting on a lunker lock, three out hammer hook. And I'm going to soak her in that grass line. Wind's calmed down just enough where I can throw it. And a bait like this, you know, Cinco style, already has quite a bit of weight. You could throw it good. And it'll slide through the grass, but just this little weight gives it just enough where you can keep it down on top of that grass line and not get down in it. So we're going to try it. We're going to try it. We're going to go slow here. See if we can poke one. I've seen that on grass lakes too. Like they'll eat a, you know, eat moving baits in the morning. And then once that sun really gets out, you got to get them on them plastics. Oh man, I about stepped out of the boat trying to put pressure on him. There we go. Oh, he's got it. Oh, when the conditions get tough, tried and true stick bait, man. I like black and blue early in the year, but not a bit, not a big one, man. Not a big one. But you know what? I'll take you right now. That might be my day ender, man. You are the day ender. You are the light of my life in some ways. Most days, you just frustrate me. On the road, three days. Pretty good dangle, y'all. See ya. And we're back. Silver bullet. You were a good horse this week. Did me right. Thank you very much. And thank you guys for tuning in to the last few videos. Hopefully you learned something about bass. And guess what? Next, we're going up to the Ozarks to do some crappie, man. And I'm super excited about that. I'm going to be going with a professional crappie fisherman. He actually does tournaments. And it's an opportunity for me to go up my crappie game. So I'm going to be asking him a ton of questions you guys can learn too. But let's check out our little chickens before we sign it off for today. The flock is looking healthy, y'all. Puff, how you doing? I think Puff is becoming my favorite chicken. She is just a little sweetheart. You not so much, but you're a reliable egg layer. Yep, yep, you're gonna go check on your egg in here. We're gonna check them out. Oh, I think somebody already got your eggs. We only have one. That looks like a wine dot egg. Okay, girls, I've got a surprise for you tomorrow. We got some new additions to the coop. So that'll be on Lake Life Family Channel if you guys want to stay tuned for more chicken action. See you, girls. And now we are going to sign it off, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for staying tuned for the last few videos of bass fishing and just truck camping and, you know, enjoying the great outdoors. Go ahead and just smash it smash it and thank you guys for being here all these all these great years on the channel i'm looking forward to another awesome year being with you guys and taking you in the outdoors with me so we'll see you on the next one signing off